Welcome to Season 3 of The Short Score, the Team Roping Journal's weekly news update show, where you can find the latest on the sports leaders, from the jackpot world of the USTRC and the World Series of Team Roping to the pro rodeo ranks. I'm Chelsea Schaefer. And I'm Caitlin Gustav. And we'll be your hosts. This episode of The Short Score is brought to you by Straight Arrow Family of Brands, the makers of mane and tail, cowboy magic, and exhibitors, with over 100 years of combined grooming excellence. We're your go-to brand for getting your horses looking and feeling great. If you want your horse's coat to be clean, conditioned, and shiny, and its mane and tail to be healthy, flowing, and strong, then Straight Arrow products are exactly what you need to keep them that way. Visit maneandtailequine.com, cowboymagic.com, exhibitorsequine.com, and straightarrow.com. Guys, I know you're all sticking around the house. My husband has groomed our horses every day before he ropes and every day after he ropes. And as a businessman, he has never, ever had time to do that before. Definitely dedicating a lot more time than usual to his grooming. So if you're out there doing it, if you get to Tractor Supply, I know like all of the The feed stores around are still open, and we've been making the occasional trip to town to get that stuff. Grab a straight arrow product so that your horse's manes and tails look absolutely amazing. Their coat, they're going to be shedding out. So if you use these products, make sure that your horses are shedded out and looking sharp. They will, everybody is going to be excited to see them at the jackpot. Hey, Caitlin. Hey, Chelsea. Hey everybody out there in the SCORE Team Roping Journal land. This is a weird one, um, Mm -hmm. a weird episode of the short SCORE. Uh, Last week and the week before was weird, but right now feels even weirder because because we are still in the same spot and I have less to talk about than ever before. I don't like it. Yeah, I don't like it either. I don't know how you all are coping. Um, I hope it's been in the practice pen with your horses and your cattle. I know that's where we've been every mm-hmm. night. As Caitlin and I are working from the house. If you've listened to other episodes of the of the score and the short score, you know that. We are working from my kitchen in my dining room, uh, self-isolated together. Yep. And so my husband's been, I think... We've drugged the arena already more times in the last two weeks than we've drugged it in the last two years, for sure. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Um, Yeah. Tori even made a new drag. We're dragging two different ways. We have two kinds of homemade drags at work. Um, (laughs) One we pull behind a truck and one we pull behind a ranger. Mm -hmm. So we're doing so much dragging. Lots of dragging. The the ground is great. Thank goodness for great weather. Mm -hmm. Our colts are getting two a days. Mm -hmm. Uh, So I'm riding the colts before work in the morning. My husband's roping on them at night. Caitlin, we got you some jerseys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lots of breakaway practice. Some muley roping going on. Yeah. Um, So I hope everybody's horses are going to be scoring really great. Mm -hmm. I hope your riding is going to be really sharp. I know that we have been releasing little episodes of extras, extra bonus roping lessons Mm -hmm. that I hope you're all listening to. I think they're really valuable. We've got some cool ones coming the rest of the week. One with Burt McGill, um, one with Breland Cowan from T4 Quarter Horses. Uh, We just did one with Colt Schmidt. That's Mm -hmm. up there. You guys are listening to those in record numbers, so I'm glad to know that that's what's happening. I'm glad that you guys are out there roping because we've got the information to help you enjoy it. Might as well put it to you right now. Mm-hmm. Yes, remember, if you've got any thoughts about how you guys are getting by in this quarantine, send us a message. Shoot me an email um, with a voice memo at cshafer at aimmedia.com. I would love for you guys to tell me um, how this quarantine is affecting you, what you and your family are doing to, to make it. It's going to be fun. Yeah, it's going to be it's fun. It's interesting. Yeah? It's very interesting. Yeah, I hope everybody's I hope everybody's well and I hope you're all keeping the faith. I just wrote an introduction to our April issue. The April issue is probably hitting your mailboxes as we speak. Mm-hmm. And that's kind of weird because I sent it out at the beginning of March or we sent it to press at the beginning of March. And it's got spring into jackpot season is the headline 
And that was so optimistic, which I didn't even have any idea how optimistic that that headline on the cover yeah, was. Until everything hit. Yeah. It just kind of, it was like a storm blew in just yeah. in an hour, not even an hour. Yeah. It's just, changed everything. Yeah. So, so anyway, we are, um, we are excited mm-hmm. that this roping community is going to bounce back here in just a few weeks. Um, hoping for lots of jackpots and lots of enthusiasm. I hope you're all just kind of waiting, chomping at the bit to get to ropens like everybody else is around here. And thank you all for sticking with us.